is given. The throw to the backcourt. It is caught and pulled in by Tatum. They come at him with a double team. He gets it away to uh, Jackson. Jackson is harassed and fouled out near midcourt. And it's going to be two shots for the Blue Devils. And that foul is charged on Justin Jackson. That is four on him. Still 90 to 80 with 35 seconds now. This last minute and a half has taken forever in six months. Frank Jackson at the line for two free throw opportunities. And that'll be fine with Duke as long as they keep knocking down their free throws. <laughs> Absolutely. First shot is in the air. Perfect. One more. 91 to 80. And this could extend the lead back to Duke's largest of 12. Getting ready for the second one. Spins it off his fingers. Jackson puts it in the air. And perfect again. Back up to 12 at 92 to 80. With now 32 seconds left. They come front court over on the left side to Pinson. He finds a man in the corner for a long three. That was Britt. No good. Ball knocked outside. They go for it. Then it's taken by Barry. He'll turn and let's fly with an air ball that goes out of bounds. Down to 20.5 seconds now. The Blue Devils with the ball and a 12-point lead. And a foul called against Isaiah Hicks for North Carolina. That'll be his fourth. And Roy Williams is throwing in the towel. He's bringing in the five new guys. And the Duke fans on their feet applauding this Blue Devil team that's going to play for the ACC Tournament Championship tomorrow night. They'll 92 be, to 80. They'll be playing either Florida State or Notre Dame. Those two teams will be squaring off here later tonight after this contest. Frank Jackson back on the line, spins it, puts it up, came up short. That's his first miss. Actually, that's the first miss in a while. We've only had three misses in the second half. Jefferson had one, and uh, Grayson Allen had one on the front end of a two-shot opportunity. So now Frank Jackson will go back to the line to try to stretch this out to a 13-point advantage with just 20 and a half seconds left. This one's in the air, and it's good. 93 to 80. 13-point advantage. Into the front court. Ball almost lost out of bounds. Back out top it comes. Coker sends it over the right side for a long three that goes in for Stillman White. And uh, that will get it down to 8.6 seconds. The inbounds play, and this one is five seconds from being over. Three, two, one all over, folks. 93-83. Duke wins it by 10 over North Carolina to take the semifinals and will play for the championship tomorrow night right here on the same floor at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. We'll be back with our postgame, including comments from the winning team, Coach Mike Sushet, players hopefully, and we'll have it all wrapped up for you in a pretty little bow. 93-83, I love saying that as long as the 93 is on Duke's side. We'll go to break. We'll be back after this on the Blue Devil IMG Sports Network. Yes.